U.S. Undersecretary of State Keith Krak arrived in Taiwan on Thursday for a three-day official visit. In a statement on Wednesday, Washington said the purpose of his visit was to attend a memorial service for former President Li Denghui. Krak is also to join a banquet hosted by President Tsai Ing-wen. What he won't be doing is leading the first round of the U.S.-Taiwan economic and commercial dialogue, as was widely reported by local media. Taiwan officials said that the details of that dialogue were still under discussion. The U.S. Undersecretary disembarks to greet Taiwan's Deputy Foreign Minister Harry Tsang and AIT Director Brent Christensen. Kroc was then escorted indoors to take a COVID test. Prior to his landing in Taiwan, the KMT staged a protest outside the airport, with signs saying, Yes to the U.S., no to Racto pork. They demonstrated against the lifting of an import ban on U.S. pork containing ractopamine. <laughs> It was a major stage for their appeal. Kroc is the highest-ranking U.S. official to visit Taiwan since the termination of ties 41 years ago. Kroc is scheduled to sit down with Foreign Minister Joseph Wu on Friday. Later in the day, he'll meet with Vice Premier Shen Rongjing and other officials to discuss economic and trade issues. In the evening, the U.S. delegation will attend a banquet hosted by President Tsai. On Saturday morning, Kroc will attend a memorial service for former President Lee. He'll return to the U.S. Saturday afternoon, just 72 two hours after his arrival. Kruk's schedule does not include the first round of the U.S.-Taiwan economic and commercial dialogue. According to a local news report, the U.S. had called off the dialogue when details on Kruk's visit were leaked to Taiwan media. There are many levels involved. Taiwan and the U.S. are still in talks at every level to make the necessary preparations for the upcoming dialogues. The presidential office said that details of the dialogue were still under negotiation. It expressed hope that Kruk's visit would allow the two sides to share ideas face to face, which could be conducive for the smooth unfolding of future high level trade talks. A Taiwan diplomat in the U.S., Vincent Chow, denied that the dialogue had been scheduled and then canceled. On social media, Chow wrote that he was one of the people communicating with the U.S. over the talks. He said that when it came to the U.S. Taiwan economic and commercial dialogue, there was much preparatory work left to be done. 